All right, welcome everybody back to uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to continue right where we left off. And so we have to make our way to that tower over there. And we have to find... We have to meet somebody, according to uh, what our friend, uh, Siri, I think her name is, something like that, said. In fact, is there like a... Um, do we have like a journal or a log book thingamadoodle? That's cool. I think I like him. I don't think I like that poncho. I think I like this. Look better. Settings, gameplay. Yeah, that's all settings stuff. Abilities. I don't see like a journal option. Um, unless there is something in the controls. Move up attack. That's all just moving stuff. Heal. Oh, what's heal? Q. Okay. Single blade, double blade. Oh, we can do double blade lightsabers? Oh, sh that's awesome, dude. Okay, slow push pull. So one, two, three is our force. Yeah, I can probably work with that because they're right. In, they're in good positions on the keyboard. Uh, we'll see about that, though. If I if I have a, a force action that I use a lot, I might map that to my other thumb button on my mouse. Um, I'm hollow map. That's M key vehicle okay I don't I don't see anything for like a journal that we can check quests so I guess we just we just go map doesn't do anything yet but it will uh, later I believe okay so let's uh let's move out They're like little groundhog dudes I guess That's a zip line. <clears throat> this looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Okay, so I think this is how we save the game and also do our leveling. Save points. Save points are located throughout Cal's journey. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. Okay? Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. Gotcha. All right, so space. You have enough skill points to learn new skills. Open the skill tree to use them. Gotcha. This reminds me a little bit of uh, like Skyrim. <laughs> okay, spin your skill point to learn overhead slash. Oh, I guess that's what I have to spend it on. Okay. There we go. Now we know overhead slash. Okay, unlocks a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. Uses force. Okay. Um, view ability. How do we do it though? Oh, hold F. Hold F. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump, jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Uh, all right. Oh no, that's that was this one. So that's just F. Okay, so we just hit F on that. Gotcha. Alright, and then I think we have to hit R to rest. Life and force have been restored. Enemies have respawned. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. <laughs> okay, let me, let's try this, um... Okay, yep, so we just... Do I have to hold F or tap F? No, I just have to tap it. Okay, good. I just wanted to, to try that out. Okay, let's go up and follow... Whoops. Follow BD here. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. New objective added to Hollow Map. Reach the vault. Okay. 
Your current objective can always be seen on BD1's hollow map. Alright, so that that's good. Um try experimenting with the hollow map controls. Ah, okay. So that moves it. That zooms in. That rotates. Gotcha. Okay. There's the ship. That's where we're at. And that's where we gotta go. The hollow map also shows unexplored pathways and important landmarks. Close hollow map and ready to proceed. Unexplored pathways. Oh, okay, I got you. We got a we got a little legend here now. Unexplored, available, blocked save point, so we can see where the save points are. But it looks like that only works for stuff that we've already uncovered. Gotcha. All right, cool. Um, BD1 is busy. Oh, okay. There's a... Uh, looks like something not very friendly over there. So we could go... Either way, does, it, does he want us to go that way, though? Are those things hostile? Whoa. They're like salamanders or something. I sense something over here. There's some nasty looking things down that way. That is a long ways down. Okay. So I guess we gotta go down here. That's a really big bug. <laughs> Whoops. That didn't work so well, did it? He said he sensed something. So, do we get some kind of a... Uh, okay, so this is where we learn the wall thing, Madoodle. It, well, or not. <laughs> We're supposed to be able to do a wall jump thing. No way through here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Alright, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Okay, so I guess we're not supposed to go this way. Where's he at? He went back this way, right? Do I have to be, like, close to him to use the map? Nope, he doesn't want to show me the map. Okay. Alright, we gotta go this way then. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Jump. Zip lines? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's cool. How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> he didn't know it would work, okay. Alright. Let's do a save point and heal up. Opening. Locked from the other side. Okay. So it looks like BD wants us to go that way. I'm just curious to see what's up here, though. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. Okay. Um. Do we jump over to that? Whoa! whoa. <laughs> that pole. Can I cut this thing out of the way? I can. Huh, I don't know what that pole thing does. Hold to illuminate with your lightsaber. That thing 
looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Oh. There's a th there's something over there. All right. Well, let's uh let's do this fight. Okay. Oh shit, get out of the way. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay, we got to we got to get our Oh shit, he got us. Okay, we got to get our dark souls on here. This is basically like a boss fight. Okay. When you die, you lose all your XP gains since your last skill point. Oh, that hurts. Holy smokes. Damage the enemy who killed you will restore your lost XP and refill your life and force to their maximums. Uh, to their maximum. Okay. Damage the enemy who killed you. So damaging as in damaging or killing him? Wow. Okay. Healing takes time, so be aware of your surroundings. Can we heal, though? I don't think we can yet. I think we'll be able to later. Okay. Yeah, we're back. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going edit to the, edit the load screen out, because, I mean, it took forever. I couldn't believe how long it took uh, for that to load up. So, um, let's go back there, and let's try that fight again. Can we... How do we get down to here? Just jump... Whoa! Okay. Let's get right about here. What is this place? Oh, man. This, not, this place is nuts. That thing looks like it might be might explode or something. I don't know. Um, so we need to get down to there, it looks like. So let's jump off here. We don't want to fall. Can I not get up there? Guess not. Okay. We just go up this one single vine here. Okay. Um, what we might have to do is use uh, the force slow thing on those things and then try and get across there really quick. There we go. All right, sense echo. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. What? Okay, the, the, through a rare ability known as psychometry, Cal can receive information from the Force when he touches certain items. Okay. I mean, what's even the purpose of those fans? <laughs> Why are they even there? Other than for an obstacle for us, right? Is there anything else we can do here? Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what the thing was that we just got. Oh, no, don't do that. Maybe we have to get like three of those and then we can upgrade, you know, uh, get a new force skill. I'm thinking maybe that's what that's all about. Okay. Well, that's cool.
Now, how do we... How do we get out of here? I don't think we're supposed to go down that way. Um... Can we go back up here again? See... Am I supposed to, like, be able to jump all the way over... There? Hmm. I'm glad we turned those blades off. <laughs> You'd think he'd be able to grab onto those pipes right there. It's kind of weird that he can't. Okay. There's got to be a reason for why this is here. We just got to figure out how we're supposed to be using it. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Okay, be careful. See, there's... There's that little chest thing up there, though. I wonder if there's a different way we're supposed to get to it. Okay, that's probably about as close as I want to get to that thing. I can't do the force thing on it. Um... Okay. Am I s supposed to build... Oh, 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 okay. I gotcha. That's how you do that. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something with this. Okay, the force doesn't do anything on that. It slowed that thing down. Okay. Let's get back up here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe there's a different way to get over there, perhaps? I want- I still want to th thinking that we should be able to get over there, though. Okay, so we could do that. Um... Can we jump up and grab that thing? Nope. Not quite. Alright, well, I don't want to spend forever trying to figure this out, so let's just get going here. wrong thing. Okay, let's go back over this way. I wish there was a save point, like, right outside of this little boss's den. So we have to come back this way every time. So I think, I think the yellow stuff on him is probably our life, you know, our XP that we get back when we kill him. Oh, okay. I got you. Ugh. Get out of the corner. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. So we only have to hit him once to get that back. So that's kind of like um, in Dark Souls where you you got to get I can't remember what it's called, but you got to get a thing of a doodle uh, to get that back. You you know your stuff back when you have a boss fight. Can't remember what that what it was, but it's the same kind of concept. But fortunately, we only have to hit him once. So all right, well this is going to take a million years to load. So I will uh, I'll probably cut all this out and I'll meet you back at the boss and we'll try it again. All right, guys, let's try this again.
All right, so we can uh, we can get our stuff back and then run back in here like a wimp <laughs> if we need to get away from him. Um, I'm surprised he doesn't try and cheese us with his tongue while we're while we're in here. We probably can't like run up and ninja grab that thing without him killing us, huh? What's he doing? He's gonna give me a free shot. Ah. Okay, so we've got a. I'm gonna try this like a couple more times, uh, but I think we might want to keep you going on the main story first, and then come back later because I think later on we'll get like health packs and stuff like that. Parry stronger enemies multiple times to stagger them. Multiple times. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Ah! I'm trying to I'm trying to roll back out of his way. Holy crap, okay. Huh? I'm kinda ch this is kind of cheesing him a little bit, but ah! Okay, so it's when he turns red, he's doing some kind of a charge, and I know we can't block the charge. Um, I'm probably... What I, I need to do is I need to study his movements a little bit more and not just, you know, try and cheese him from the, the cave. We got we, we need to do the fight legit, so... Let's, uh... I don't know what the hell is going on with the loading screen. Sometimes it loads back, like, immediately, and sometimes it takes forever. Not really sure what's up with that. But frustrating, you know, when you are when you keep dying after a boss fight, and then you have to wait for literally frickin' 60 seconds or more for it to load. But like I said, it doesn't do it that way every time. Sometimes it just pops right back up, like within five seconds. So, who knows, man. Okay, let's get our XP back. Okay, so we have to we have to dodge that uh, the red thing that he does. It's a it's a timing thing. We can't. Okay, go. There we go. Ah. Okay. So he does two bites, and then he does the red thing and dodge. Okay. Shut up, timer. Ah! Oh, man, that was my timer that distracted me that time. Okay. We did a little bit better that time, though. We did a little bit better that time. Let's try it one more time here. Okay. We got this. Okay, let's just kind of study his movements. He bites twice, then we can hit, and then dodge. And dodge. Hit. Oh, dodge. I don't think he actually hit us there. He fell on top of us. Okay. 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 We weren't careful enough that time. Okay. Oh! I didn't quite roll out of time. Out of the way of time. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, this episode's over. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let's continue on with the main storyline, but we will come back to this guy before we leave this area and uh, give him another shot. Because I know, I know we'll at, at least... Later on, uh, you know, because like I said, I watched the first, I don't know, maybe hour and a half or so of this game. Uh, and I know we're going to get some healing uh, as we go through the main quest. And so, you know, th that will be able to help too. But we'll get this guy eventually. We definitely will. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, when we come back, we will just continue on, like I said, with the main quest and go from there. All right. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.